I went out the other day with my friend Barney and he showed me a great spot where different species of egrets are nesting and I'm so excited about this spot and uh, some of the photos that I got and what I want to do with this video is to show you this photo and also to show you how I process my photos using Lumina AI. So I'm just going to crop in here and in fact I might just slightly adjust the uh, the frame. Love that shot. Uh, as this is a raw file, there's a lot of information in the file. It gives me so much more room to move as far as adjusting shadows, highlights, color, etc. I'm going to bring the accent up. It's going to give it a, a global adjustment. And then the sky enhancer, of course, is to bring out some of the blue in the sky behind these uh, wispy cloud cover. And then down to light, pull up the exposure a little bit, possibly some shadows. And I mean, that's pretty much it. I will do a local mask. So what you can do is you can come down from the tools to this um, brush icon and add a local mask. I'm going to add a basic mask. And, and what it does, it allows you to do these adjustments. So I think what I'd really like to do with this is just bring out some of the highlights in, in the bird's uh, face and neck. So I'm just going to paint where I want the uh, the mask to take effect. Okay, so what I'll do to start with is just drop the exposure back so I can see uh, where I want to make the adjustment. It's just going to be around this uh, the bird's uh, head and beak. And essentially what I'm doing here is looking to, if I double click, to remove the, the adjustment. Now when we pull it up, see how it's lightening up the area where the uh, mask had been painted. So I just want to keep this fairly subtle. That's the first adjustment and I'm going to add another one to do a second. I'll just drop that back because uh, I want to be able to see where I'm painting here. Take it out. Okay, so double click to remove the adjustment and then all I'm wanting to do is just lift the highlights a little bit here by increasing the exposure and possibly pulling up the shadows slightly. I don't want to overdo it. And then the other thing I want to do is add another one and just touch the eye. Just pull a little bit of uh, light out of the file, out of the uh, photo around the eye. Not much. Just that. That's it. Pretty much. Okay, so if we do a before and after, I'll just go back up to the tools tab. Before. After. So you can see around the bird's head just how those three adjustments have helped to give it a little bit more detail. I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to do a color adjustment. We can see the blues are a little bit strong here. So I'm just going to go back into the sky enhancer. And you can see, like if I pull this right up, you can see how it's also affecting the feathers in the bird. All right, so I might just back that off a little bit. What we will do is we'll go back to a local mask and I'll add another one of these. It's going to be basic. And I'm going to brush in uh, around the, uh, the wing area here. So we'll just paint this wing area. And we're going to look to change the tone here, give it a bit more warmth. See how that makes a difference to the, uh, the color tone. We can cool it down or we can warm up the image. So let's just double click it to take it back to neutral and then we'll just pull the slider slightly to the right. Okay, I think I'm good with that. We want to make sure that 
we maintain authenticity in the photo. It needs to be realistic, pretty much. So if we go back to the preview here, before, after. Okay, so we can just see the, the enhancements that have been made. And I think it complements the, uh, the bird really well. Okay, I'm pretty good with that. It's a beautiful photo and I just wish there was more light. I mean, the light was behind the bird. It was early morning. It would have been great if it was flying into the light. If it was coming in the opposite direction, it would have been fantastic. That's okay. I mean, I love the composition and I'm fairly happy with this photo. It just really strikes me. I love it. So, I mean, yeah, that's the cattle egret. And I'd like to invite you to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and subscribe. The, the uh, channel's fairly new. I haven't done much up until recently. And uh, I'm going to be doing quite a few photography videos in the future. So don't miss my videos. Subscribe and, uh, and join me on my journey. With that, have a great day. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.